Common Council today revoking the license of a Northside gas station that was the scene of a deadly shooting last August. A 29-year-old father of two was shot and killed by an armed security guard for allegedly trying to steal a pack of snack cakes. CBS 58's Emerson Lehman was at the hearing today and spoke with the man's family. Isaiah Allen's mother tells us the Common Council's unanimous decision is just the first step in getting justice for her son. Very happy with the um, decision. The Milwaukee Common Council voted unanimously Tuesday to revoke the license of Tetonia Gas and Food, as recommended by the city's licensing committee. Aye. 15 ayes. 15 ayes. The file is adopted. It's something Natalie Easter Allen and her family have been demanding since the August 16th shooting of her son, Isaiah Allen. The community came together with us. Um, they listened to the community. Um, and we one step closer to getting justice for my son. The 29-year-old Allen was shot and killed by William Pinkin, a convicted felon who was hired to work security at the gas station. Allen's mother says Pinkin should never have been working security at the store. Still try to get some laws changed where they just can't hire random people off the street. OVB Law and Consulting, the firm representing the gas station's owner, Garinda Negra, provided the Common Council with a formal objection to the licensing committee's recommendation and tells CBS 58 in part, quote, a business operating within the bounds of the law shouldn't become a scapegoat for larger community challenges. While Tuesday's decision was what Easter Allen and her family had hoped for, the grieving mother says nothing can heal the pain of losing her son. And my son, kids have to grow up without um, him being there. And um, <laughs> um, the way we got to um, deal with my son not being there. So that's what I'm trying to prevent. William Pinkin is charged with first degree intentional homicide, a grade A felony. His jury trial is scheduled to begin in February 2024. Reporting at City Hall, Emerson Lehman, CBS 58 News.